Hi guys! Today I'm going to tell you why you might want to mix charcoal with graphite. A while ago I made a video about four things I've learned about charcoal. I'll put a card up that'll take you to that video. Something I've never shared though is that sometimes I like to mix charcoal with graphite as I've done in these two drawings. The reason I sometimes mix charcoal with graphite is because sometimes I want an area to be very black. And graphite just doesn't get black. Even with the darkest graphite pencils or shading sticks, the darkest you can get is just a very dark gray. I think charcoal pencils are great for small areas, like the pupils of people's eyes. But actually, the woman's sweater in this drawing And the gateposts in this drawing were made using a compressed charcoal stick. It's kind of hard to explain in words why I think the compressed charcoal is better for this than the pencil. So I'm just going to show you instead. Okay, I'm filling in a square with the charcoal pencil. There's still a lot of white showing. It's very patchy, and no matter how many layers I add, I just can't seem to get it to be solid black. It's a very frustrating process to do it this way. This is why I don't recommend using charcoal pencils for large areas, or even areas that aren't necessarily large, but that you just need to be really solid. Or maybe you're just impatient like I am. Okay, now I'm using the compressed charcoal stick. And already you can see it's looking much better. It's really black. It looks like it's going to get nice and solid. I actually got up in the middle of this and switched from the General's charcoal I've been using to a brand called ProArt. I actually like the ProArt a lot better, but that's just a personal preference. You might like the General's. The reason I prefer the ProArt over the General's is because what I found is the ProArt is very soft, while the General's is just slightly scratchy. I still like General's for a lot of things, though. In fact, the pencil I was using in the clip before this is a General's pencil. And some people might not like things as, as soft as the Pro Art can get. Use whatever floats your boat is what I'm saying. But anyway, as we get to the end, you can see it's nice and black. It looks like a nice solid black square. So I don't have the patience to keep going over and over something with a pencil when there's obviously an easier way. The only downside to this is that because charcoal is so soft, and that's what allows it to get really black, it smears easily. So what you want to do is try to touch as little as possible. And you also might want to try using a workable fixative, which is something that you can put on the charcoal portion of your drawing, which will lock it in place while still allowing you to work. That's why it's called a workable fixative. There's a popular artist here on YouTube whose name is Leonardo Perisnieto, and his channel is called Fine Art Tips. I'll link it in, in the description. Anyway, I'm on his email list, and it was an email email that I got from him about this very topic, mixing charcoal with graphite, that gave me an idea for this video. So you don't have to mix charcoal with your graphite, but I wanted to let you know it's an option. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, click that like button down there. I upload videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking this button right here. Tap the bell down there to turn on notifications. And for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.